All right, all right, all right. It's time to continue, finally, my save that we were doing the other day, streaming. Hey, look, it's me. More new. I moved, chat. Camera angle. Oh, my God, my nose. That big, dude? No, it is. I knew that. Yeah, so where we left off yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, on Sunday, that's when we last... Was it Sunday? No, it was Saturday. Oh my god, it's been almost a week. Sorry. The stream, we haven't been streaming a lot this week, but that's because I'm moving, but I'm finally done. Like, I'm finally done. We're all comfy. We just had a nice little lunch right now. Everything is great. So that means we're back on the grind because dude's got to grind right now. Um, so right away, le how was move day? It was good. I have, like took all day yesterday, which is unfortunate because I now... I'm posting tomorrow. I'm posting three days in a row to not go bald because I don't want to go bald. So I have a YouTube video coming out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, where we left off... I have to get used to this new setup though. Because I changed my setup because I thought this would be better. But I'm getting used to it. Um, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this bandit camp over here. So there's a bandit camp over here. We're not going to charge them because that's going to use all of their uh, stamina. These guys are charging. We can just turn that off. You know, actually run them so they catch up. It's bugged and showing a different city. It's one thing that I've noticed happens quite often. Okay, let me reload because this is annoying me. So, um, yeah, we're doing really good. 70. Right now, working with 70 approval, but we still have a beer problem. Again, the beer, but we have a solution for beer. We're going to turn this entire area over here into beer farms, which, in order to settle over here, we actually need personal wealth. So if you go into the logistics or the administration, you put 250 of your own personal wealth over right here, and it brings five families immediately to this region. So we'll do this in next spring. Hopefully, uh, we will get enough money. We should if we get this next camp. We're, we're going... If we get this next camp, I think they're also mobilizing to get the camp. Yeah, they are. We have to be a little bit quick here, but I think we're, we're, doing, we're like way ahead of them. So... And we started making shoes as well. Someone should be starting making shoes. I thought we already clicked that. Bandit camp. Ooh, another bandit camp. Where? Oh, that one's pretty far. I don't know if we'll get that one. How are we doing on everything? Sure. We are employing foresters. All that. We're still building houses. How many house plots we have? We have 25. We have 22 families. We're making going up to 28 families. This time, though, we're playing it differently. Instead of just making one mega town, we're going to try to do the multiple town infrastructure thing. Oh, wait. I need to slow these guys down. I'm using all their uh, cohesion. Why are these guys fatigue? Yeah, we're going to get there before these guys do. I do want to do a massive pitch battle, but in order to do a massive pitch battle, we have to start a war and declare war for this region. Which we're not ready for. We're not ready for that at all. I mean, this guy is going for the one in the north. You can see that what's different this time is that the AI is going for the bandit camps. So you actually have to rush to the bandit camps before he gets them. So we're not getting anything stolen by the bandits, which is okay, it's good. But in order to get the gold from these bandits, we have to get there before the other guy does. Which we will with this one, but this one is just... Yeah, there's no way we get that one. You know, especially since he already had his armies out to get the other one.
We have the policy turned on. We do. I think we're going to go with the heavy plow, guys. Yeah, heavy plow. We can use that next uh, winter. Let's see livestock. Livestock. We can put another livestock thing right here. We can afford it. Logistics. Hitching post right here. Connected for major trade routes. Ow. Bandits are already moving out. Yeah, they are. Okay, move here. They're going to come out of the trees. Housing Act. Everyone has a house. Well, I need them to have houses. And I can't see my stats again. That's very annoying when managing multiple towns. Oh, and you have different things for different towns. Oh my god, I didn't know that. You have different development points for different towns. I probably shouldn't have done heavy plow then. I mean, it's fine. We can start making bread here because there is some decent land for bread. Uh, if we go into farming, and then we can see this is like uh, wheat. This is flax. This is barley. I mean, this is not too bad. Do barley here. Eat here. Increase the priority of this one. Wait, are we starting a battle? I don't even know. Where are the bandits at? Oh, they're not moving. But oh, we wait still. We've upgraded uh, some of our retinue. Look at these guys. KCDC new trailer. Link it, dude. I know I have not seen that. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Fire barrage, quick! Being slaughtered. I'm not even. I'm meleeing with my archers, but the upgraded retinue is just so good. Yeah, upgraded retinue is insane, chat. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna already send back. Because these are my villagers. These are levies. These aren't mercenaries. These are retinue. Their job is to just be soldiers. So they go. They go loot. Plus, we don't want them to see us looting because this money is not going to the town. This money is going into my coffers so I can claim this town, which I won't claim until next spring. The reason why we're waiting until spring is because then we're going to have to manage this in the winter and families will leave. If we're not able to give them the things they want, families will leave. But we will have to set up over here. 
An another ruler's army was sighted. Yeah, that's the army we already seen. What we do have to do here, now that we're going to be setting up another town, though, eventually, we don't need it right now. We need a pack station. This is a station where we can trade materials between our two towns. And we'll put it... Um, we'll put it right here. You know what? I'm going to make, like, a more direct ro road right to here. Oh, that was weird. And we'll put a pack station right here near the town. And this is what you need to barter between your towns. Because your towns are going to have different construction, food, fuel. They're going to have different resources. So we're going to specialize this area to farm barley. Because that's going to be my solution for the beer problem. Is we're going to use this entire region right here to for get barley. Yeah, we have different fertility. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Barley fertility in our starting town is very bad. Which is very bad for us because we need beer. As you can see here, we have lack of entertainment. We need beer in order to entertain our people. Which is why I haven't upgraded much of our town yet. Because once I start upgrading to level 2, we're going to start having huge issues with them wanting beer. And this is going to go into my treasury. Oof, still not enough to get a town. We're going to need to get rid of one more bandit camp. Unfortunately, this bandit camp is getting taken out by the AI. And we can send these guys back home. Your houses now. We got 23 families out of 26 houses. We got a whole nice setup over here. Let's make a house here with no expansion. Oh, AI is claiming. Goldorf. Oh my god, AI is claiming into me. Aggressive AI. Let's go. Well, that's kind of concerning though. We're going to need more troops ASAP. But I need more level 2. I mean, this next uh, this next harvest is going to be Omega. I already feel it. Especially with the plow. Hey, Petit Tayon. How are you, my Brazilian friend? We can also increase influence here by hmm, upgrading our manor, I think, increases influence. Should be fine. Our veggie farm should start yielding soon, too, which will increase our food diversity, because right now our food diversity is a bit lacking. We're still waiting for the hunt to repopulate. Um, I actually have a YouTube video of me playing recently, but this is basically like a medieval, uh, sim city builder plus war game. My most recent YouTube video is me playing this game. On my last run. This is my second major run. That's gonna be also on my YouTube channel, guys. So if you missed the beginning, you can watch it on the VOD channel when it's up on there, which will be soon. Or you can wait for the YouTube video, which will be out next week. The lack of entertainment is still a big problem. But hey, a vegetable's harvest is happening. And what we can do now is we can get... We can now get a livestock just here and we can actually order this. We can get another ox here. And what we can do is, uh, in the farmhouse, we can assign... We can upgrade and get a, a ox there. I have no idea how much it's gonna cost. Sorry, bro. You can also look at some harvest here. Uh, this game isn't out yet. It comes out the, in a couple days, though. Uh, by a couple days, I mean... April... 22nd? No. April 23rd? I don't know. But it comes out end of April. Which is coming up. Are we can harvest wheat here. We can get the farm growing now. I'll do like another farm right here too. Like this. 
pretty nice. Just get more wheat. Wheat is the only thing we can grow here on our starting plot, which is kind of stinky, but it is what it is. The October winter is coming. There's no point in plowing the fields right now. We'll go ham into the fields next winter. Been getting a lot of timber. That's good. What we should start making is more planks, which actually, no, we have a lot of planks. Never mind. Yeah, there's already a guy there. What's going on? Why is the cobbler? Wait, do I not have a cobbler? Okay, why is the co- Oh, it's because everyone in the works in the cobbler is in my army, which we have to disband. The retinue we don't have to disband, but as you can see right there... I just, uh, wait, where are they? They're supposed to be running back. Yeah, look. These are our archers going back. Because when you use the peasant levies, that's your literally your peasants. Yep, there they are. They're now going back to work. You can see the cobbler. He's right there. But we made it back before winter, which is good. And we didn't lose any troops from our last expedition. With the retinue, we can just keep them in front of our house. This is right here. This is my house. The, the manor. I've decided a different option with the manor. What we can do to increase the manor range is add buildings to the manor. We can go into here, open castle planner. And we can do like a garrison tower, which is what we'll do next. We'll do like a garrison tower right here, which will increase the range to the right. And we can just keep increasing the range around the town. I'll defeat Mr. Baron. You have to claim his territory and it will start a battle. Which we're not ready yet for. I'm hoping we can do a battle today. I can only stream for like another three hours. Uh, like I said, I'm still like settling into my new house. So my stream schedule, I'm streaming just a little bit less guys. But once we get, I guess, settled in, we're going to be back on the streaming grind set. Back on the streaming grind set, bros. Grind. Yeah, but what we need is, um, we don't need more war bows. We can stop with the war bows. Yeah, we've stopped with the war bows, so the Fletcher are just doing nothing. They're just chilling. Oh, I forgot I named my villagers chatters names. The move went very smooth. The move went very smooth. We're already settled in. It's actually astonishing. I'm more settled in now. It's very cozy. I'm very comfortable here, alhamdulillah. And my wife is awesome. She's just doing everything super fast. I've never seen someone so hyper-focused. Does that mean going bald? No, because I have three days and I have a video ready for tomorrow and then editor is going to be ready for a video on Saturday and then I just need to work Saturday getting a video for Sunday so I won't go bald this week. I'll just have three videos in a, in a row. No, I, I don't live in Los Angeles. I live in Southern California, but I don't live in Los Angeles anymore. I live uh, closer to San Diego now. Which I prefer over LA. San Diego is nicer. In my opinion. And probably in a lot of people's opinions. You're a digital nomad. A, a new age nomad. You probably listen to a lot of uh, Mongolian throat singing. You probably relate really hard to that. Because of how much you move. Dude, we just have families moving in left and right. This is good. But the lack of entertainment is a big issue. We can get guys off of the foresters right now. Foresters grow trees fast, dude. Trees don't normally grow that fast, right? My realism... Get some meat. We now have to wait for... Um, we have to wait for another bandit camps to spawn, or we can start taxing our citizens. The thing is, though, taxation, uh, land taxes, the only tax that I can do right now. And land taxes make people really upset. So if you want your city to grow, you shouldn't really do land tax. Like, we can afford land taxation, but it's going to really impact. Like, it won't make people leave, but it will make people not want to be here. I mean, not want to, like, move here. But we got to keep the taxes off for now. Once we're done, I think what the idea is... Once you're done growing like a plot, like an area, you just put on the taxes and you just farm money. Like it automates 
Once you have enough people, you just automate it. We can actually go three speed three here, because I'm already reaching the point of automation, which is really sick. Like, I don't have to micro so many things. Got people getting wood. We got livestock. Hopefully it's from this one. We're gonna get another farmhouse here. Put the farmhouse over here. grow I think it's just pretty much wheat that's like the only option but it's okay we can make a lot of bread and then send it to our other towns they're plowing the right now which is confusing me because I thought they didn't plow in this time of the year but I guess they do uh, I do need guys oh, another family moved in that's good need more families for the farming Yeah, look, they don't plow in the winter. That's what I thought. Okay, so they plow in the fall. Okay, now we learned something. What got bro Wait, what got damaged? We'll get another woodcutter's lodge here. Woodcutter's lodge is for firewood. So we'll get another one. Um, we'll get another one like over here. Let's see. Gatherer. Gatherer. Woodcutter's lodge. Like right over here. Go, go. We're getting insane family moving day. Oh, bandit camp. What? No, it's not a bandit camp. It's just raiders. Okay. Well, we can deal with the raiders. We have enough units. What we can do is we can make another archer stack. And now we can get like two stacks of archers. With our extra war bows. Ah, I don't want to do that. What I do want though is um, militia footmen. But in order for... We need uh, small shields and we need uh, small arms. Our next beer... Our next harvest has to be Omega guys. No crop rotation. Let's just do barley here. Barley here, wheat here, wheat here, wheat, barley. The barley is not going to be that high yield, but if we have a big farm, you know, it might be enough. It might be. Let's look at barley. F uh, like, maybe if we do like a... We could do like this. How's barley here? 16%. I mean, whatever. We'll just put a, assign a bunch of pops. And I can't see my pops. This is an annoying bug. I hope they fix this soon. Like, you zoom out, and like, you zoom in here, it's zero, because we have no one here yet, but then we zoom back here, oh, there we go. Well, that's how you do that. Here comes the raiders, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna be fine. Go more hunting. Only one veggie this time. We need to upgrade these to large size. That's fine. The farmhouse done here. Yeah, we can get also a plowing station. Plowing makes farming so much faster. 
Let's put these guys over here. Bandits should be coming soon. Yeah, they're over there. Raiders. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have population growth even in the winter here, which is very good. Uh, that means we're, we're managing our city very good. Yeah, I've heard that. You're not the only person that said that, by the way. That this game reminds you of Frostpunk. People are telling me I should play Frostpunk now. More families moving in, chat. All right, let's just get our army up from now. We'll just wait for them right here. Troops are mobilizing. Those, these are literally my bills. Who's carrying the flag, chat? Let's go! I don't think we're going to be in position in time. To start firing barrages here. Enemy unit spotted where? Well, I, I, oh, thank you, game. Oh no, I didn't mean to disband these guys. These guys we need to disband. No lives lost again. You can walk around like it's Kingdom Come Deliverance.
What's up, just do it later? More houses. Habibi Housing Act. There's dead bodies here. I totally forgot about that. The grave diggers out. It's almost the end of winter. Still waiting for a bandit camp, so we're gonna go speed three here, guys. I need bandit camp for money. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I could. Or we could start taxing, honestly. Woodcutters lodge storage. Pool. It's they want me to bury the dead. Let me just put three people in the church, then three families. The Baron doesn't have a city, so that's a work in progress. Their city is off map. So you can't see the Baron's city, unfortunately. He And you also don't see his armies until you claim his territory. Which we're still a bit of way to do, so we'll go speed three for now, because there's a bunch of stuff we still need to do. We need to move into this town. We need to clear some bandits. We need to start collecting more taxes. We can get more retinue. Of course, what we could do is instead of buying, instead of expanding here, is we can buy a bunch of merc companies and then claim this. We could do that. Traffic jam. Did you see that? We're going to put a lot of people in the farmhouses here. I want a good harvest. I need a good harvest. What's the goal of this game? Well, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like City Skylines where there's no really a goal. Just building villages and stuff is kind of, you know, the appeal. But there is objectives that you can get in this game. The objective of this game is that I need to claim the Baron's three lands. And as I mentioned, every time we claim a Baron's land, he's going to bring out a huge army. And we're going to have to beat the army in order to claim the territory, which... Like I said, I'm trying to do today. I want to fight him at least once today. But there's a couple things we need to do first. Like grow our pops more. Because our if we use peasant levies and not mercenaries and retinue, then our pops are literally our unit. So, And in order to start building better weapons right now, what we can do while we're waiting though, is we can start mining iron. That's actually a really good idea. We can start mining the iron like right now. I mean, it just pops means more productivity, you know? That's just like the outright what it is. Another family moved in. We're at 29 families, chat. Not bad. Gotta be careful about the food situation. How are we doing on food? It's good, good. How's the hunt situation? Hunt is good. Oh. We're getting a lot of meat. The veggie farms are gonna start carrying some weight soon. Hopefully. And I invested so much in veggie farms. They still yet to yield. Last harvest, we got one veggie. Very bad. They should start mixing. Uh, they should start doing a lot. It's a mix of city skylines with total war with NO 1800. That's my best way to describe it. And that's the way I described it in my most recent YouTube video. You want to see an edited playthrough. In eight, it was like nine hours of gameplay edited down to one hour. You can see that on my Twi oh, YouTube channel. It's my most recent upload that I uploaded four days ago. And speaking of YouTube, there's a YouTube video coming out tomorrow, guys. The EU4MP video. 
there's no rivers and coastline and fishing yet. But I'm sure that the developer wants to add stuff like that eventually. The, it is just one developer. I think he's got increased his team now because he got more uh, funding, but um, this game is like a passion project of one guy over the course of eight years. Put a lot of work in this, guys. I follow him on Twitter, actually. It's Lords at Lords Manor on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, start self-plugging everything. Speaking of Patreon, speaking of Reddit, I don't have a Reddit. Speaking of Discord, speaking of money, Give me some. I'll use a goodly. Rust. Oh look, the veggies didn't die. Okay, so maybe this next veggie harvest is gonna be legit. What we really need is the beer harvest, the barley harvest, because the pops consume a lot of beer, dude. Maybe there's just like one more spot where we can do beer. Just one more spot, come on. One more beer spot. Okay, here looks decent. You can do like a weird looking farm that goes like this. Barley. I need barley to make beer and beer is needed for tier 2 citizens. We all have only tier 1 citizens still. Like, because if I start upgrading to tier 2, we're just going to have issues with lack of clothing. Lack of... Wait, why is this guy not working? This is what I'm worrying. Why is the cobbler not working? What are they waiting for? Don't they need leather? I'm confused. Firewood! Firewood! Enables production of shoes. Cobbler. Okay, you got the leather. What is he doing? I think it's boogged. Fortunate. What we also need is a furnace for the wood, for the iron that we're making. We do that in industry. Um, iron bloomery. This is where we get iron slabs to make uh, swords and stuff. Oh, there we go. Our veggie harvest is happening. Oh, March is start. It's March. Alright, we need to decrease some things like, okay, let's get off more off wood. This harvest needs to be Omega chat. This harvest, it needs to be Omega Giga. We can stop this guy for now. Decrease this one's a little bit. One thing we can decrease a little bit. Wood cutting, we can cut, decrease a little bit. What else can we decrease? We can decrease the tannery for a bit because we have a big stockpile. Decrease the mining for now. We just need everyone on the farms. This harvest is so important, chat, for our city growth. Two farmhouses. Once the snow melts, they'll start plowing, which will be any minute now. There you go, the plowing has begun. Way faster. I don't know, that doesn't look like he's plowing. Oh no, he is, he is. He's just on the wrong tile for some reason. Oh no, the guy is making shoes. My bad. Upgrade another house here. Start making shields. I think the shields got turned into planks. Stuff that we need. How are we doing on food? Food's good. Again, the veggie harvest wasn't that great. That or people. Oh, bandit camp. Alright, this is what we needed. Please be close by. Please be close by. Ah, that's still good. We'll get to it first. Alright. 
I know we need to harvest, but since there's the other guy, we need to go for these ASAP. You know what we can do actually? Bend this guy. Bend this guy, and then we customize. Station, and we buy some retinue. Buy two. Be good enough. Yeah, who wants to be a retinue? Do the first chatters that I see. Local drunk guy. Herman. Me, 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 me. Okay, you, you seem very like you want it. So we'll customize you. Oh, it didn't even get it. Let's do it later. Than Serious. Go off radio. Look at this guy. I have not become the manor lord. Once we defeat this guy, we become a banner look. Look, let's give him new armor. Armor. Kinda quiet. Oh no, my mic kinda moved wrongly here. Hey, you guys are gonna go die in the band. Is seven enough to take on 16? I think I spent too much money, and it doesn't even matter because I'm sending the these guys anyways. Oh no, the other ruler is going. Go, 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 go. Yeah, he goes for them, man. You have to be so quick because the other guy goes for them. I don't think seven's enough. Alright, okay, let's stop mining for now and just more people on the farming. And we're plowing over here as well. I'm a plower, chat. I got all my families working right now. I need a guy on berries, actually. We're gonna make it before him. Are you still pretty far away? No. Yeah. Yeah. The the ox is just a game changer. The heavy plow is just a game changer. Look, this is a normal pop plowing. And then, where's the ox? We can give it... Exp uh, and this is the ox plowing. It's like 10x the speed, dude. That's one pop with one plow. That's insanely fast. That's insanely fast. Can you see... Uh, uh, the vills will be proactive. If things start burning down, the vills will be proactive. But yes, your vill your your village can burn down. Put these guys in the trees right here until they get uh your orders. Oh, yes, sir. chill here. Advance. My red news not even here yet. Alright, in that case, do run. Run. Run! Pick up the pace, please! My aid! My lord!
Where's that other army at? I'll stay with his drift. Very quick and very easy chats. Yes. We can get that bandit camp. Hopefully it's more money this time though, because if not, we're gonna get screwed. Am I ready? You gonna die? Is he going for the cutoff of my Renu? Ayo? What is he doing? One cast. Run! We have more claiming points though. What we'll do is we'll claim this one, and we'll, the reason why we claim this one is because then b uh, bandits can only spawn in these two, and hopefully they spawn here. It's 50-50. And that will mean I'll always get the bandit camp, but is he going for my army? Am I screwed? Nice. Okay. What I can do now is I can build here, administration, settlers camp. We'll put it right here. Oh, wow. Can make their supplies, starting supplies more. I didn't know that. Or you can do specialization in their village type. But that's not in the game yet. This we could just camp forward. And there we go, and there's five vills here now that we have to manage. This is just like playing the game again from the scratch. Well, one thing we're going to need right away is wood. It starts with the ox, too. Oh, wait, no, no. First thing we need to do is get a granary and a storehouse. I forgot how to play the game for a second. We need a granary and a storehouse. But the granary's on highest priority. So now I have two towns in unison. There's a town here that I just started, and then there's this town. By the way, our guys made it out. I wonder where they're going, dude. Where are they going? And how's the harvest going here? It's going, okay. We're starting our plant seeding. That's good. But now I have to place low here. Oh, no. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. We could, we're losing supplies already. Come on. Build. Four more supplies to get ruined by the rain. Oh, that could be so bad if we just lose everything to the rain. I totally forgot that rain can ruin supplies. I thought it was just snow. But no, r rain can ruin supplies. And they're already running out of food here. It's okay. We, we can bring in food from our own town. Start storing. Yeah, what you can do is you can build uh, this. Total War is fun. I think what we'll do... So we got this connection here. We'll do like a direct land route, right? So, wait, where is it? It's here. 
and build a road like this straight to here and then from here wait what the heck just happened there road straight like this and then a road straight like this and another road straight to like right here Total War Shogun is really good. Okay, we're putting away the supplies. People are getting pissed off here. Obviously, they're running out of food. And we need to start building that. We need to build this. This is going to allow us to barter between our two towns. So we can fix all the problems we have here very easily. What we will need, though, is in this town, we're going to need... We need to get one family off. Wait. Men, We're gonna get, need to get one family off the farmhouse. Two families. We need to start building more houses here. We also need more wood. Now oh, we're good on wood. We need a guy on bloomery though. Start making iron slabs. This sounds pretty much just like automated. Build train tracks. True. It's only, yeah, it's only us content men, or if you're a tester for the company. If you're an alpha tester, you could, you played it even before the content creators. this first everyone's not homeless all brands running out of food okay All right. Beer town. We need food. What food can we spare the most of? Eggs. We have to give them something? Uh, give them stone. Yeah. I didn't realize. So in order to barter, I thought we could just give something from another one, but... No, that's not how it works, chat. You actually have to give something to receive something. That's interesting. Well, we need more houses here ASAP then. Because we need food, more food. Oh, what's up, Flory Worry? Habibi's daycare is my Customs Nations lobby. 
where um, where people do. Um, Habibi's daycare is my custom nations lobby where we have a draft for custom nation ideas. Uh, this Habibi's daycare, I have another surprise though. Every time I do Habibi's daycare, I add another level to it. But the last time we did Habibi's daycare 2, you can see on my YouTube channel from last year, um, we had a draft. Uh, basically, so not one person has the same ideas. We're going to do the same thing in Habibi's Daycare 3. And there's going to be another twist to Habibi's Daycare 3. We need more men at the camp. Yeah, we're going to need more wood here. How long does it take for the eggs to come? Do I need the mule first? That should be good. Yeah, the other town's just automated, dude. Still growing, too. We need more houses here, actually. That's how much it's still growing. Yes, so you can, there will be one guy with 20 morale, there will be a guy with 15 morale, there will be a guy with 10 morale, but there won't be any nations with, like, two nations with 20 morale. And then I spectate and I watch. Like I said, there's going to be another twist in this Habibi's Daycare. Yes, and you basically have to draft in a certain order. So you, you uh, do have to, if you do play it, you have to kind of, like, keep an eye on the Discord for when it's your turn. Uh, like, if you're sleeping, it's fine. Your turn is not going to get skipped. You don't get bullied for bad ideas a lot. Another retinue. This one will be Flory Worry. Obsessed with cleanliness. Is this true for Lori Worry? I didn't know you were obsessed with cleanliness. Gotta make him look a little bit more swaggy. I feel like Flory Worry is more of like an axe guy. That's yeah, perfect. Dude, we're not fighting dra uh, we're not fighting demons. We don't need pure silver. When does the bread come? I, I this is my first time ever doing the bartering system. I mean, when does the eggs come? When do the eggs come? I have everyone just work the logging camps right now. Oh, there's a granary right here. So, we could actually do that. Oh, I didn't even see that. We don't need pure silver. For the vampires. I already can see it, the vampire mod. You have to protect your town versus vampires. I feel that, but nowadays I can't be dirty. My wife would kill me if I'm dirty, so I'm I have to keep my keep the, my, the area clean. Which is good. That's like a good thing to have. You know, forced to be clean. Or wife will leave. Don't want her to leave. Let's get these guys houses so they stop being pissed, man. I didn't realize this is how the barter system worked. Uh, I'm kind of screwed here a little. Until we can start bartering. Oh, we were starting the trade. It literally has to make a physical trade between our towns. This guy has to walk with a mule with our stone on him and come back with eggs. 
This is a bit of a problem, chat. What is this? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. And there we go. Do, 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 do. Let's build more houses so these people stop being pissed. Actually, I'm not planning this town at all. This is not as good as my first town at all. Oh, that's still not good. Yeah, people are going to be leaving this town. That's not good. Start the hunt. Yeah, I've kind of messed this up. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I thought we could just get all the supplies we want through the barter system. But now we know it's like literally you have to start a whole nother town from scratch. And then once you get a lot of supplies, you can start bartering. But to start, we can't just start bartering everything we need like I thought we could. We have to physically do everything like we did before. This town is going to fail. I already feel it. We're already at minus 20. People are going to leave. That's not good, chat. Building? No, okay. No, the hunting den is working. Is it an animal like game? Yeah. It's kind of like it. It's like I just to reiterate for the millionth time. Like a mix of Anno, Total War, and City Skylines, and it's in the medieval era. Step right up and sample. I have to say the line for the millionth time, chat. More houses here. This town just thriving, man. More people in the farmhouses too. How's the crop going? Okay. How's our yield going to look like? Please, a lot of barley. Uh, 76 barley. I mean, that's enough to feed for a year, I think. As long as we don't over-upgrade. Yeah, this is, this is a disaster town. Gonna need water. We all know what that means. We start hunting. I lost track of the hunting camp already. There it is. We're doing on firewood. A lot of food. What we can do is make eggs here. Is 
summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. Let's just get them all houses. What's up? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Camera angles this way, anyways. What was that? Uh, Sunday I have a stream. Saturday I have a stream. Yeah. Saturday's stream starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 2 p.m. Sunday is 7 a.m. to like 1 p.m. Um, on Sunday, yeah, sure. Sunday, uh, I'll be chill. But uh, Saturday, I'll s yeah, d don't do Saturday because um, I need to post a video. Like I said, I have to post three videos or I go bald. So... Isn't she gonna get bored? And you can't give her your phone, dude. You need it. She'll probably get bored. Just do it for Sunday. I'll hang out with her all day Sunday. After a stream, yeah. So if you want to do like a bunch on Sunday, you can. Say, uh, two. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. I'm talking to myself, chat. I'm skizzing. The voices. Ah, 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 ah. All right. I need to focus on this town right now. Because it's dying. This town is dying, chat. Are we getting... Okay, we're fixing our food problem at least. And we got eggs coming in now. Hopefully there's another bandit camp. If there's a bandit camp here, it's good, because then the, we can send the money to here, and then we can get more uh, eggs. We can egg max. I'm egg maxing! Oh, don't worry. This is my. This is not my main town. This is the town over here. We're fine. We just wasted a bunch of money. Wait, this is, looks so weird. It says it's fully plowed and seeded, but there's parts missing. We should be making a lot of beer, dude. 78 is our next harvest. That's pretty good, chat. Do we have a guy making iron slabs? Yeah. Oh, uh, people are leaving the other town. Uh I didn't realize that's how it worked, chat. Oh my god. It literally, like, they're all gonna leave. There's no one gonna be here anymore. There's no one left. Is there a person still hunting, at least? No. This is so cursed. There's, there's no way we salvage this on this difficulty. This is so cursed. And this is also messed up. Yeah, okay. I just found another bug. Time to report it. Yeah, there's so many issues. We can fix the variety of clothes, though. Tannery. Maybe we can salvage this. The other town is automated, so we can just sit here focusing on this town. What are we running out of now? Food still. Can we just build more houses. The well is done too. We need one more house. Check that doorway's width so that a cart can fit. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude, why why do these Okay, th th I was making jokes about it on my YouTube video about um, why do they need to drink so much beer? And people were giving like actual historic answers on why medieval populations drank beer. The explanation is that um, is that it's like was like an easy source of nutrition. It lasts. It was safer than water in this time. Yeah, beer drinking alcohol was safer than drinking water in medieval times. Well, uh, beer in this time was more hoppy and more grainy. Beer was, beer was more hoppy and more grainy. And um, so it had more calories in it and was more caloric dense. And it had less alcohol in it. So beer was like 2% or something. You'd have to drink huge amounts to get drunk. That's what I was told in my YouTube chat. I don't know if it's true. Historians of Twitch chat. Another family left. This is so cursed. This is Jover chat. This town is Jover. You have to micromanage it just like your first town. The Th there's there's no salvaging this. The Somehow we still have homelessness, which I don't understand because there's three houses and there's only three families. What is going on? I'm going to look for an autosave. 226. Oh my god, that was so long ago. 315. It's true. Here's 30 seconds of ads. You can subscribe! Twitch Prime, it's not a crime! And support the streamer. 30 seconds is not even that long, dude. Okay, there, we still have four families here. Okay, this is still salvageable. Alright, what do we need that's the most pressing? Not enough clothes. Okay, we need a tannery ASAP. Delete this. We need a tannery ASAP. Maybe we can salvage this. Here's we'll save game here. This is we're gonna try to salvage this town. The other town's automated, like I said. Like we go to the other town and we can just build house. We can just build more houses, more people will move in. I think it's also time to upgrade more houses here. We can upgrade this one. The house that we upgraded, we upgraded another house. Oh yeah, what is he making here? Shields, good. Alright, we just need another house making iron weapons and then we can start our uh, militia footmen, which is good. Are we hunting? Yeah, we're hunting, that's good. Are we mining iron? Let's mine iron. And then one family building. Now we can focus on this, this village right here. This village that is disaster, because I didn't realize that we... The barter system is so weird. Like, why can't we just get resources from one of our other villager, villas, villages? Like, the eggs are already gone. This is pointless. This is a bad trade. Nothing. This is not worth. Okay, we just need every single pop on working right now. We're hunting. Hunt faster, dude. Okay, we need the... Right now, the most we need... How are we doing on planks? We don't have any planks. We need a guy working here. Put highest priority on... Did I already build it? I forget. Industry. Uh, tannery. Let's build a tannery right here. Where the name Tanner comes from, chat. Boom. Boom real. Got that tanned. I'll demolish this, though. Because I need them to prioritize. I need you to prioritize. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around. Did I bug the ox? <gasps> I bugged the ox. Find a storehouse for excess weapons. What the? Oh, we've already done all the shields we need? No. We need swords. Is stream laggy, guys? Like I said, I have new internet now because I moved. <gasps> Bandit camp. This is good. Actually, we need to run here. We need to run here. We beat the other guy to the punch.
Stream is fine, okay. Let me know if there is. I'm I'm a bit stressed about it because I no longer have fiber internet. I do have like the next best best option which has 20 MBS upload speed, which should be more than enough. And then we have two internets, so I'm on um, my streaming computer is just on the one of the internets. Oh, the, it's unwatchable. Time to move back. Oh, thanks. I'm kind of tired. Totally not trolling. That guy's never trolled in his life. I'm kind of tired. Most honest viewer in here. There we go. All right, we need to start making clothes. We need fuel. This guy. Right. Making we're now making clothes. What's the next thing that they need? Not enough fuel in the marketplace, not enough cloth variety, that's fixed. Not enough food variety. Okay, we're gonna need to get luckily we're gonna we're getting an army. Yeah, our army is gonna fix that problem. We're gonna egg max here so hard. I'm egg ma oh no, we can also berry max. <gasps> There's berries right here, what am I doing? Egg maxing, berry maxing. Okay, we're they're not. No one's leaving yet. We're salvaging this, and we're making clothes. Let's go. Okay, that's gonna fix the clothes problem, and just casually a huge army walking through here. I'm egg maxing. What is egg maxing? You'll see. You'll see. Uh oh, approval's low again. Come on, get the clothes on the marketplace, you tanner. Tan faster. Tan faster. Homelessness is not an issue anymore, though. Reloading the save fixes that with the worker camp. I was so bugged. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. we here. Oh, these guys are really struggling to get here on time. Run. My retinue, run. And just start barraging once we can. Arrows, how are we doing over here? Okay, we're having a bit of an entertainment issue. We should stop the shields. It's using up all our planks, I think. Where's the shield guy? Actually, no, we need more shields. We need 35 shields, so we're almost there. 22, 35. Quick maths. It's 13. You couldn't do the quick maths. I did it for you, chat. But you should be able to do that kind of quick math. Come on, bro. If you can't do that quick math, it's time for you to stop watching the stream and start doing some quick math equations. Do and train your quick math skills. Alright, so that's that house done. Um what else do we need here? We need a saw pit. Oh, we're gonna need a stonery because we bought stone. We sold stone. Wait, how much of stone is needed for a church? Ten. Okay, we're gonna need a planker. Guy that makes planks. Saw pits, we'll just put it right here. Is that our highest priority? And then we're gonna need a stone pit. Oh wait, we can also berry max. Did we finish the berries? But make that actually highest. Put this as medium. And then make a stone pit on low. Yeah? Yeah, I got you. I can take violets for tomorrow. So... Did we win? Oh, we won. I wasn't even looking. 
We lost some... Did we lose some archers? Looks like we did. Yeah, we lost one guy. Rip that one guy. Wonder who we lost. Turning off stream, gonna go do addition. Good! Honestly, I was thinking your sound quality sounds a lot higher. I think it's the room is better. Uh, I noticed that too, that the sound uh, travels a lot less in here and there's less echo. Send the resources to the nearest town. Which town got it though? How does that work? Imarith? No! <gasps> Why? <laughs> There's no one living there! Yeah. When's the last autosave? Ah. Uh, Alright, well, we'll just keep that there for when the time comes. There's actually no one living in that town. I don't know who has that money. I can't. The next save scum was like 14 minutes ago, and I'm already doing so much progress here. And uh, never mind. A, a villager left here, so we save scum. I don't think this town is salvageable. I didn't do it right. I have to do all the stuff that I did last time. I didn't know that's how it worked. I thought we could just get everything we wanted. I know I've been saying that like a broken record right now, but... Honestly, that's how I thought it would be. To be fair, I haven't watched like anyone play this game, so... Maybe if I watch more One Proud Bavarian, I would know this. We need the tannery again. I think this town is just unsavable. Maybe we should just let it die and lesson learned. We need the tannery. We need. We also need berries, like ASAP. Why does it go to this? Oh, it used to be. I thought I fixed that problem. It's gonna be like RNG because we're under 25. Pops leave at under 25, so we just save. And then just save scum this town and it's salvageable. But that's annoying to do, but just let's just keep saving. Put this on highest because we are making some hides. Get some berries here. Bandit camp was spotted. 50-50 chat, 50-50. Okay, there we go. Better luck this time. Wait, if we do it this time, which town do you think it goes to? No, it's actually worse luck. It's the same thing. We'll just send it to our personal wealth. We'll just send it to our personal wealth. Highest. I'm the highest in the room. Priority. I'm actually not. I haven't smoked weed in a while, chap. Not good. Habibi, 2024. Weed, it's not good. My wife says in the background, I approve this message. Hey, babe, if I can get Saturday to, like, work all day, Sunday I'll take care of Violet. Okay. 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 Get to work, lad.
Ja. Okay. Okay. Alright. Sunday's stream might get cancelled because Tommy K, I don't think, is gonna play RP game. I don't know. The RP... I don't know, guys. I've tried Stellaris so many times. Just not... I'm not good enough, I guess. There's some people that are just way too good at that game. Even when we play RP, there's just people that are just way stronger than everyone else. Without even trying, I guess. They're just so good at the game. I guess that's what it feels like to play EU4 with me, guys. We need stone, yeah, I know. But we need also planks. Like, we need everything. Oh, pop left. I need to save more. Uh, should I even do this? Is this even worth? I have a full booming town. I can't import, though. That's the problem, bros. That's the problem. Like, I thought I could just barter... And that's what I messed up. I got rid of stone. I guess we can barter away planks. But like, what do we give them? Like, you have to- you can't barter- I didn't know this. You can't just like, barter things that you need. You have to trade. There has to be some kind of trade going on. Maybe if we get berries going? I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm learning now how to manage more than one town, and it's actually really hard. Well, I mean, the goal is you just make every town automated. Like, this town is pretty much automated. And it's still growing. And it has, like, no problems. But this town that I'm just starting, like, you have to play it just, like, right the, the beginning again. Save again. So what I'm doing here is I'm saving a bunch. This is saves coming, Manor Lord style. I'm saving a bunch, and anytime a pop leaves, I'm going back to the latest save. Uh, because when you're 25 or less, pe pops might leave. Yeah, the problem is I build too many things. I I'm like have the luxury of having multiple this livestock, which... Okay, the well's done. That's one commodity done. Save again. We can do this. Save scum time, let's go. We get the berries going, which I'm trying to get highest on. I yeah, the ox gets really messed up. When you have one ox, the ox just randomly goes all over the place. It's very annoying. Get a guy tanning right away. Like, look, they get so messed up, dude. Uh, why did the ox do that? Look! Oh, you're getting called, Julie. Julie. Your nana's calling for you. Hey, thanks for the follow. Air Fresh. Janamat. Balok. Khan. Now they're not even here. Okay, we, we can put someone on berries. We can fix that food problem. But then we're gonna have to put someone in the granary. And put a guy in the tannery. And then I need to get some guy off something. One. Two, three. It's I have a guy here, don't I? Yeah. Okay. All right. Food situation should be better now. Now, what do we need? Food, Yule, cloth, perch level. Okay. So we need to get stone. Save again. 
try harder? Dang, dude. I didn't think of that. Now I will. Okay. How's the hunting guy doing? Alright. Food should not be a problem anymore. Save again. Let's make a more direct route here, chat. Okay, leather's on the market. That's gonna fix the, the cloth issue. And the food issue should be solved too. We have eggs, berries, meat. That's three sources of food. Eggs, not so good because we only have one pot plot. Okay, clothing stall's done. Please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. I think we did it. I think we were salvaging it. Now we just need three stone. And we need some planks. What's up, Vivo? Please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. Okay, it's going down. Church level too low is getting too harsh. Wait, how's the clothing? Okay, clothing is being fixed. Berries is getting fixed. Firewood. Oh, we get one problem fixed. Another problem is added, bro. And now there's a bunch of pops doing here. Oh, yeah, I thought those were pops. Approval is critically low. Yeah, I know, dude. Dave. Save. This is RNG aspect here. Come on, game. Come on. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. I just wanted to make a quaint farming village, village to fix my beer problem. But no! Ooh, we need food, we need clothes, we need shelter! Oh my god, dude. Berries is really good. The meat supply is not good. I don't know why. They're just eating the meat right away. Eat some berries, guys. It's good for you. Uh, I'm enjoying it so much, Big Boss. I'm enjoying it very much, actually. I think the developer's done a good job so far. What's what's going to be interesting is seeing how he manages, you know, like... Because this is going to be an early access game. It's going to be interesting to see how he manages adding new content that doesn't break the game. And also, you know, ramping up things and not keeping the game in early access mode forever. But apparently, the, there's going to be more developers coming in soon. So that's going to come down to how good the original developer is at working with other people, right? Because we've seen games that like are where people get the other developers to work with them, and then it just doesn't work out because they just don't work well with other people. I don't think Lord's Manor is like that. Uh, Greg, he's the singular developer of this game. His name is Greg. He's Polish, so his last name is probably like Hoshiwitzki. No offense, Polish people. You know it's true. Where are they? Huh? Where are the bandits? Is this just an empty camp? Or are they raiding me and I don't know? I'll take it. 
Let's see something. Let's test something. Let me save. Right now, I'm, if you're just tuning in, guys, I'm trying to get up a second village. Our first village is fully automated. Everything is being done. I don't have to do anything here. These guys will produce their own food, produce their own clothes, produce their own, uh, produce their own iron. Um, which, speaking of iron, I need to upgrade one of these burges. Upgrade this one because it has an empty slot, and this is where we're going to make weapons so we can get more militia. We're going to also need to upgrade to make beer once the harvest is over. I think there's no one here, guys. Yeah, there's, there's no bandits. We can just go clear this. The question is, should I try to save... Sc no, this is just closer. I think it's going to always go to Imaruth. Let's do some testing. Let's do some, some testing here. Some game testing. Some limit testing. We love to do limit testing on this channel. And... Is this done yet? God, it's so far away. The ox has to move a million miles away. Where is the ox? What is the ox doing? Wait, why is this not building then? Don't forget to the oh, it's building. Floor. Okay. It's it building start. very slowly. We just need three stone. Please don't leave. Please don't leave, guys. Don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me playing this game in the worst way possible right now okay let's clear this camp yeah i guess there's no one here that's weird as heck let's run positions run back to your home village so you guys can get home in time for the harvest hello wait i didn't save I just put in my treasury. I'm bringing these guys back home too. Too fatigued to run. All right, well, come back home, we do. The church level being too low is a big problem here, but we need we need stone and planks. For now, let's put a logging because I need some more wood. We only need two stone. Let's just do a little bit extra just to be safe. Alright, we can stop the stone guys. Stop stoning for a bit. What we do now is we need plankers. That's what their name is. I didn't make up these names. Totally didn't make up these names. The stoners and the plankers. Watch all my VODs? Thanks, bro. I watch all of your VODs. What? Alright, save again. Save again. This is way harder because I didn't... <sighs> this is when you play on the hardest difficulty chat and you forget for a second because it gets easy once you start to get the ball rolling. In the barter system, I, I don't understand it. I'll be honest, I don't really like that. I thought... Why can't we just manage... Why can't we be able to send from one of our good villages to a new village? Like, why can't I send supplies without having to spend gold? I guess it kind of makes sense, like, okay, the, the villagers are not going to want us give to give away their resources to another village for free, but I'm their lord, and I demand it. I'm their manor lord. This is the problem with feudalism, chat. This is why armies in medieval era had less troops than armies in antiquity. You heard it here first. These guys walking through this shitty village, going back to their nice village. Ooh, good thing I don't work here. This place looks like shit. Habibi for Emperor. Instead of Lord Manor. Yeah, look, dude, I'll, I'll even walk around here. This looks like shit, dude. Can I sleep in one of, one of their tents? No, I don't fit. I'm too big and muscular. Can I go on fire? <clears throat> I'm fire immune. No wonder I'm the Lord Manor. Manor Lord. Lord Manor. Alright, we're almost there though. Church level too low is a big, bit of a problem. 
Is fuel a problem? How is fuel a problem? Is the hunt low? Dude, I feel like we barely hunted anything. Hunted down more. Oi, I forgot something really bad. I forgot to turn off this policy. Oh, my yield is going to be lower because I have that policy on. The one that makes the hunt grow faster. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. I'm a man or lord. Yeah, the, the, there's only two policies right now. Strict fasting and hunting grounds. Hunting grounds makes uh, the hunt reproduce faster, but it makes your crop yield less. As you can tell, since I am crop yielding right now, that's not the best for me. What are you doing, dude? What is the cow doing, man? Alright, saw pit. Go, come on. We need now planks so we can build a church. How much do we need for a church? We need 20 planks. Let's go. Everything else should be good here, though. I don't know why we're still having issues. The tanner. What's going on with our market? We have food variety. Fuel variety is a bit of an issue. What you can do is you can get the guy off... Well, how about clothing? Clothing is good, so what you can do is get the guy off the tanner and put the guy inside the storehouse so he can bring some more stuff into the market. And then that should fix the problem there, but then it's still lingering, the bad effect. So we'll save here in case it does, and we can just save scum. Did I mess this up? Zampega. Ramadan's over. Yeah, we should pass for Shawel though. You're right. Alright, saw pitting should be good since we're not building anything. Usually saw pitting is not that good. Because the axe, the ox gets confused. Uh, until you get more oxes, obviously. Then it's just fine. Alright, we need uh, weapons. We need bigger weapons. Oh, we need to remove someone off something though because um, not be able to build. Do that. I really wonder what our yield is going to look like here. I hope we get a lot of beer. Barley. So we can start upgrading our town more. We need barley to upgrade our town more. <gasps> Clothing supply is going up. Babe. Dave's coming. It is a bit of an RG aspect when they leave or don't leave, so that's why we're doing this. In this town. But a reminder, if you start a new town, it's like starting from scratch. Unless you have, like, a lot of money, then you can give them, like, an insane amount of starting resources. Then everything's fine. Like, you can build... It doesn't show you unless you have 250. Okay. But where's my retinues, actually? We can make our retinues bigger, too. Uh, also, make these, get spend these guys so they go back to work. Where's my retinue? They're almost home. I'm gonna spend them to make our retinue bigger. Let's see our market supply. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's see our market supply. Yeah, everything is at 100. What we can do is get this guy off here. And what we can do is we can. How's our fuel? Fuel is going to last six months. Okay, that's good. What we can do is just keep the pop here then. Keep them on the granary. Okay, so we keep bringing food to the market. How are we doing on planks? Almost time to build a church. Getting anxious. But a pop's gonna leave.
I'm gonna put the policy that's random, just so this thing doesn't keep popping up. I can't click that so it goes away. No, they removed my thing. Now we're gonna see policy every single month tick. Policy available. Policy available. None of the policies are good. Do we have the log here yet? No. Where's the ox? What is the ox doing? Livestock? Nice. Alright. Approval should be going up. Market food variety. Plus one. Not enough food variety on the market. Minus three. What? Dude, the ox is so important. That's why one of the first things I do in my towns is upgrade the ox. Or get more oxes. In this town, we have six oxes, so it's just amazing. We have two oxes on plow duty and four oxes on just spreading supplies throughout the village. So, it's so necessary. When you're on one ox, it's so hard to build anything. Alright, we almost are ready to build our church. I didn't do any planning with this town either. It's actually so cursed. All right, we got it. All right. Church time. No, you can't transfer anything from town to town unless you barter, which is what I was doing at first, but it just... It's not worth it until we get more stuff going on. Then bartering becomes worth it. You can't just transfer things, which is what I thought. That's how the system worked. Like, it's like, oh, you know, starting town. Bring in from the bustling town some good stuff. That's not how it worked. We learned on this stream the hard way. That I don't really like. But, you know, it's more like realistic, I guess, or something. I don't know. How are we doing on armed goods? Uh, I think we just started making swords where did we make the swords guy oh it's over here how are we doing on terms of iron a lot of iron okay we'll be fine Fresh. raining right now could be a lightning storm all right time to make more chatters into men at arms why even create another town it's for like specialization and like more growth and more retinue because you can have one you can have a manor per town so you can have more and more retinue if you become omega rich you can specialize towns yeah i'm gonna make th the main reason why we're starting the second town is to become a barley village it's just gonna produce barley and then the village that we already have is gonna just produce wheat and we're gonna send bread for barley. We're going to do a barley for bread trade. And that village over there is going to be all level 1 village of all level 1 houses. That's my plan at least. Here I'll show you. After I do this. I need... Who else wants to be uh, a guy? I need two more. I'll show you what my plan is. So this is like going to be like my capital right here. This is my capital, obviously. But basically, the barley is a huge problem. As you can see right here... Barley is a huge problem. There's nowhere good to produce barley here. Like, nowhere good to produce barley. Like, actually nowhere good to produce barley. But over here, this is like the best plot in the entire map to produce barley. So, I was gonna, what I was gonna do is I was gonna keep this all level 1 so we don't have to produce barley here. All of the barley that gets produced here, we're gonna trade it with over here. And then this villager, this village is, since wheat can grow here and we're, we can grow wheat like relatively okay... 
The wheat will go from here. I mean, we'll produce the wheat. We'll produce bread over here. The bread will go over here and we'll trade it for barley. And that way we have a very strong source of barley. And we can maintain a very bustling city because we have good beer production. Because right now, our capital is a little stunted. Where I can't really upgrade many to level 2. Because you go over here and lack of entertainment is a big issue. And we need beer. But there's nowhere to grow beer. So we need to use this town to get us our beer. And the blacksmith is done, by the way. Which is good. Where's my blacksmith at? We want him to produce sidearms. Yeah, so there we go. And we can stop producing small shields. Where's the guy that produced small shields? Just so we don't waste resources. We have enough small shields here. Only I can find the guy. Oh, Jorner's. We can just pause this. This is going to be Barleyville. Oh, we we saved Barleyville. We saved Barleyville chat. We did it. Barleyville saved. We can stop sawing. And we can start tanning. Finally, dude. Yeah, th this is just going to be a farming town. Oh. What I did want, though, is... Which is really unfortunate, is I wanted to use the bandit money. You could put it here. Water? Where did you get this from? Thank you, person in my head. What? What? I'm schizophrenic. <sighs> so yeah, Barleyville... Barleyville's whole purpose. Why not make it into beer and then directly transport it? Because then I'm going to need to make some level 2 houses and then I'm going to need to spend some of the beer here. That's why I'm kind of tired. Because you can only make beer. Here, I'll show you why. That's a great question, though. Great question. Um, in order to make a beer, you need it to be a level 2 house. And level 2 houses are the ones that want... Oh, fire! Save it! Oh my god, another lightning storm! Please save the houses! In order, but like... Oh no, they're all on fire! Our city's on fire! Stop it! Where's the firefighters when you need them? Oh my god. But yeah, the reason why... So now that we stabled Barleyville, which by the way, uh, we had to... We really struggled to stabilize because it turns out the barter system, you need to actually trade things. You can't just take something from one town. You need to trade. I mean, we could start trading right now. Like, let's... What does this town need? We need firewood. So what we could do is we could send berries for a bit. Berries, and we can bring in some firewood. I mean, that's not really necessary. I'm just trying to show you guys what I mean, but that's not necessary at all. We can just make our own firewood here. That's just a waste of our berries uh, surplus. Um, we'll make that in a second. We have some time. We have some time. Um, but anyways, the reason why we're going to use this to barley and we're going to keep it all level 1 is because if we upgrade to level 2 just to make beer, those level 2 pops need beer. So now we're, we're spending beer to make beer, rather than just having all the beer and everything produced in our capital city. Does it force you to do a 1 to 1 quality change? Yeah, the barter system is very rudimentary. I think it needs more development. Because we can't really... Yeah, we can't really choose. When moving things between regions, the exchange value needs to match. For instance, if you were exchanging iron at, let's say, 14 silver per unit for firewood at 7 per unit. Oh, it's not one for one. It's not one for one. So you have to give three berries for one. I need a marketplace to see the actual values. Let's build a marketplace. I've been playing without a marketplace this entire time. I didn't need it this one. The last time we were abusing the market so hard, like we're playing Age of Empires 2. 
Um, trade. Let's build a trading post, like, right here. There's resource value system, yeah. So it's it's not one-to-one, -one, it's one-to-one -one value. So firewood is worth two gold and berries are worth four gold. You have to trade two firewood for each berry. And of course, it's like bushels of berry. It's not just one berry, guys. My bills are not living off of just 85 berries right now. That'd be something. But it should be good. Our market access should be good. We have every, everyone doing that. I need. We can stop the tannery guy for now, and we can beat this guy. The church is being built now. The next thing we would need in this t village is a wo uh, woodcutter's lounge and uh, more houses. Because right now people are living in the tents. When winter comes, they're gonna freeze to death. The tents are fine. Like if you get upgraded tents, the worker camp, it's fine during the spring and summer and fall. But when winter comes, they're going to literally freeze to death. Oh, band of raiders. Me unit spotted. Uh, are they coming for this village? Okay, we need to get our warriors ready. Honestly, we could take on... Unless it's a bigger raiding. Oh, it's two. Okay. I was going to say, we could just use our retinue. Retinue is omega. Like, retinues are omega. Bring the other towns. Uh, archers. Why are we not building... Why are we not making these guys yet? We need sidearms and small shields. Uh, game. I have small sidearms and small shields. What is going on? Let's disband this and just make them again. Oh, there you go. Little boobed. This game is pretty intense on the computer, but it's not as bad late game so far. But we haven't played the Omega late game. I'm hoping to play the Omega late game in this game. We still have to do a big pitch battle here, which I want to do today, but I don't think I'll be able to do it today, unfortunately, chat. Um, I'll stream this game more on Saturday. Saturday, guys, you, uh, we'll, we'll have a longer stream, but uh, tomorrow, maybe we can play a little bit tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can do a little bit tomorrow. I just need to finish a YouTube video in the morning. Yeah, I kind of want to finish this this week so we can edit this for next week. We'll see. I'll try to make my schedule work, guys. I mean, how intense is this on my computer? Let's check. CPU is at 40%. GPU is at 85%, but keep in mind I'm streaming and I stream through my GPU. I have an RTX 3070 Ti and I have an AMD Ryzen 5 900X 12 core. I don't know if that helps you guys figure out if it's good or not for your computer. There's a lot of stuff that isn't animated which is smart by the creator by the developer like when they're in houses they're not animated when the resting is not animated there's nothing inside the houses that's animated it's just empty look we can i'll show you what i mean look if we go on foot if we walk in our village on foot you can like take a peek inside the house you can't really even but if you like kind of like side eye inside there's nothing in there there's literally nothing it's just empty We have to protect this village here. Once we get this town going though, it's going to be specifically just barley. We're getting raided right now, by the way. Just barley is going to be here. And we're going to transport barley to here. We'll bring bread from this over here because wheat production is okay here. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing my estimated harvest anymore. Is it saying three for that entire field? No, that's if I right now. We still have 72 days of harvesting, of farming. Dude, City Skylines 2, I tried playing that with my friend once, it just... That name, that game needs more cooking. It needs more cooking in the oven. Which is unfortunate, because City Skylines 1 was really good on... Like, I remember when I first got the game, but... To be honest, I don't remember when I got the game. Was it a year in release? Was it on launch? It wasn't on launch. Because I'm pretty sure I bought it discounted. Never mind, maybe it's the same, I don't know. I'm running on Ultra. Let's see. I'm running on Ultra, yeah. 
Sharpening is off though. Everything else is on ultra. I, I didn't mess with the settings at all here, chat. Where's my retinue? You guys are so slow, chat. I mean, you got a bunch of armor on. Look at you guys. I can't wait for them to add cavalry in this game. Cavalry is... he. Even the developer said it. He said, I predict one of the first things people ask for is cavalry. At least from the war aspect. You can follow the developer on Twitter, which has been a really cool experience. Because he's been asking his Twitter followers like questions like, if, what's the first setting that you want to see when you open the settings menu? Stuff like that. And literally, this project started with just one guy. And it's been majority one guy for... I don't even know if... It, I think it's still one guy right now. They they have, like... They got a publisher, so the publisher is doing stuff like marketing and stuff, but... I don't know if the development team in increased. I'm wondering if it did or not. I have no idea. Alright, get ready. Get ready for Aero Barrage. Wait, 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 wait. Come, come and get it. The difference now is because I figured out how to get more money, you know? We have the retinues, using the retinues over the pole arms. And then we are using the militia fo footmen because I feel like they're the best uh, melee unit you can get for militia. But, you know, now we're just. No one's hit yet? Come on. Dude, I, guys, I had a blood test today and I, I passed out at the doctor. It was actually hilarious. It wasn't hilarious in the moment, but I was just like, what the heck just happened? I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't even know why I brought that up, that's so random. But when I woke up, there was three nurses around me, and they're like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, and they're like, oh man, your blood sugar is probably low. And I was like, yeah, they told me to fast for 14 hours beforehand to get the best results. I just lost a retinue, chat. Okay, we got him. Alright, now go back home, guys. Yeah, the dudes are just cheering. I can request Hades 2. What's Hades 2, dude? I never played one. No, no. If you're drawing blood, shouldn't you drink? If you're donating blood, you should uh, drink and eat. But no, I didn't drink enough water, they said. It was probably the issue. I didn't drink enough water. Uh, but if, you, for, if you're doing blood testing like for like medical reasons, they tell you to fast. At least from my experience. If you're giving away blood, yes, you should eat a bunch because they take way more blood. But they gave me some candy and I was fine. Who died? Oh yeah, who died? I just remembered. I named all of my retinue names. Oh, we can't see until they come here. Oh no, one of the chatters died. Which chatter died? I won't even remember because it's been so long. Hades is a great game. Okay, well, I'll contact them then. And I'll, maybe we can play early access. When does it come out? Hades. Not Hades. Hades. Thanks, Sam Cox. 1996. Hey, dude, we're born in the same year. Can you guys finish this church? Oh, wait, we did. Okay. I was about to say, this church is staying forever to build. All right, we need more houses. No, no, we need first a woodcutter's lodge. Put it like over here. And then what we also need is more houses over here. What I will do right now though, I think I'm gonna claim this. 
But now I'm claiming this territory right here. The AI can start claiming our territory, which is a bit scary, chat. Uh, but we're getting our army big enough that we can take him on, I think. I mean, we need another bandit camp. But the thing is, if we claim this, the bandit camps will only spawn right here. And there's going to be at least one bandit camp that spawns a year. And we can use that to farm personal wealth. And then farm that personal wealth. And in case we get attacked, we can buy some mercenaries. But we're getting... Our army's getting pretty strong, actually. I wonder who died in the retinue. Is it one versus one from start? Basically, yeah. But he's not on the map. They, that's a work in progress. The AI actually building towns. That'd be really cool. But no, it's it's that's still something that's work in progress. There's a lot of things in this game that are still work in progress, but um Yeah, that's Beer town. I was about to say Barleyville got population growth. That's not right. We don't have enough approval. Why? Okay, save here. Save, 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 save. Okay, something. Then the guy leaves. Oh, the the berry deposit is used up, bro. Start Woodcutter's Lodge here. This game on Crusader Kings uh, scale would be epic. Yeah, uh, going back to the developer on Twitter, he was talking about adding like a family tree me mecha mechanism into the game. But then he's, as he was developing it, well, this is based off his Twitter. As he was developed it, he realized he was creating a game in the game and he'd rather just focus on the city building mechanics right, rather than the family you. and house building mechanics. So that's something that he's dropped entirely. But, um,. I need more on farming. The harvest is about to start. No, it's not. 56 days, actually. What I do need is another Burjij to upgrade. The reason why we need to upgrade it is so we can make beer. We'll make beer here. Get to level 2. And then we also need a tavern. What? How, bro? I fix everything. It's using old data. Like I said, cities start automating once you get like 40, 30 families. You don't, you can just like leave your city automating like this city right here. This city is pretty much full automation. I know I've said that so many times, but uh, once your city gets to this scale, like I'm doing nothing here. Like I, I can do nothing and I can leave my PC going for a long time and it will prosper. Obviously, there'll be raids and the AI will attack us, but if that wasn't in the game, we could literally do that. Please don't leave. Not enough fuel on the marketplace. That's why I don't understand it is. Why is there no fuel? Like, we have everything here. Clothes, tanning? No, we have. It's just RNG. You see Kingdom Come too? No, I don't. I haven't seen Guys, I'm only going to stream another 40 minutes because I have to cook dinner, okay? I don't think I'm going to make this bandit village. It's too far. Where's my retinue? I think my retinue can solo this. Go, 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 go. Run to here. Yeah, look, he's he's already mobilizing his army. Where is it? Where's his army? Oh, okay. He spawned his army here. Okay, we may be able to make it. I don't have a charcoal kin, no. Kiln. Hmm. 
I'm gonna save again here. Yeah, you just have to wait since it was so bad for so long. You just have to wait for the approval to go up slowly. It's not instant, which is intended, by the way. It's supposed to linger. Well, at least that's what I was informed. Come one, come all. I mean, we can get level 3 here. I, I I could literally just upgrade one more thing. Which I think we already are. Gonna need that. We're also gonna need an ale. Malt house. We're also going to need a windmill here. You know, oven right here. Start making some bread. I hope our yields are good. I hope our crop yields are good, chat. And I hope we get here before they do, which it seems we will. I need you guys to keep running, though. Which is gonna drain them. Drink. Okay, no one left. Good. What I don't understand is why are we still getting negative on some of the other things? Food market access. It's all there. Oh, it's because they're not near the house. Ugh. Stop being lazy, you villagers. So lazy. Other house. How are we doing on like tan? Other tan room. We need a guy in the leather. We're we doing on firewood. Oh, we need a guy with firewooding. Wait, where's all our bills at? Okay, we have a guy still. You're in hunger two updates? What is what is Fear and Hunger 2? Is that another game? So 
berry farming. I need to just focus on making sure everything good. Two bandit camps, let's go. Dave. Your town settlement level increased. Orchards is pretty pog. I don't know what I'm gonna do here with the development point. Not yet. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for that one. All right, I need you guys to run a little, a little bit. so close and Barleyville is negative again how <sighs> how chat how you guys are literally are you not putting things on the market guys hang on Another retinue died. <laughs> Wanna go go clear? Go, go, go. How Chad? We're out of hunt. I don't know if we'll be able to get the other bandit town bandits. Along with my treasury.
I think the problem is their house is too far away from the market, which is over here. So I'll just delete this one. I don't know if it's a good idea. I think I'm gonna lose a lot of retinue here. Whatever. Hiring mercenaries. No, I've messed up so bigly on the Barley Town. Like I just to if you're just tuning in, the reason why Barley Town is messing up is because I thought we could siphon resources from our main village into our secondary village. You cannot do that. You can't do that. So now it's lesson learned, but it's extremely painful. But now I have everything they need. It just needs to get on the market. Which is why I deleted this. I mean we can let a family leave, it's fine less stuff that will go yes, sire. let the families go habibi Now that they live closer though, I think that this should resolve the problem. Because the, the problem was they were living in the tents, which is far away from the marketplace. The market has everything. It's Fuel is lacking, but that's, that's fine. They just need to bring it there. And the fuel is on the market, I think. Oh no, it's running out. If they leave, I'm just going to let a family leave here. It's fine. Whatever. It will eventually grow because we have everything we need here. But it's just annoying. But it's a lesson learned. I didn't know that's how it worked. I watched more YouTubers play the game. I didn't watch literally anyone play this game. So, What are other people even doing? Are they even playing the game the same way? I want to do one big pitched battle before the end of today's stream, which we will have time to do. Yeah, we will have time to do. Come on, Renu, don't die. Run, charge, run to the bandit camp before they get to it, quick! Now we just need influence, guys, and we can do a big battle. We're gonna do an omega battle. They're, we're not at war, so they're not gonna engage. Which tile should we go for? Shib Delbit? Which one would be the best for a battle, you think, guys? I think this one will be the most epic for a battle. There's no river or hill here. Is, the, is that a river right there? <gasps> There's a river right here. Harvest is about to happen. Alright, this town is finally starting to turn around. Finally. But we have a food issue. We need more eggs, dude.
What we can do? Okay, here's what we can do. Let's barter. Stop hunting. Stop hunting. Trade berries for eggs. Goldhoff? Okay, Goldhoff it is. Once we get a thousand influence chat, we're gonna fight for this one. You need two thousand influence. Never mind. Maybe we won't get it this stream. I guess tomorrow we'll have to do it. Like I said, I have to cook dinner for the house in 30 minutes. I'm also getting hungry. Hungry? Yeah, we're gonna have some spaghetti. Something very basic. Some spaghetti. It's not what I wanted. Barter send. Want eggs. Alright. But now that we got stabilized this, we can actually start trading. Like, we need more eggs here, so... We'll start trading berries for eggs here. And now the pop, who's literally here... The guy that's here... Has to go and travel all the way... From village to village to do trading. That is... Wait, he's supposed to have his mule. Where's the mule? Oh, okay, they're going on another trip. There you go. So he's taking some of the berries with him. And he's gonna come back with some eggs. I don't know why he keeps going in the floor. And then let's see our harvest chat. I can't wait to see our harvest. everyone on harvesting here so nothing gets ruined Our beer house. And then we need uh, the malt house. Where is that? Do you guys remember where I built my malt house? I don't remember where I built it. Here? Oh. oh, there it is. Put him there so, so I don't forget. Are we still farming wood? We can do this and then get one family off this one. I mean, we have a lot of families. That's like, uh, what? 18 families? This village is looking really nice. It's gonna be our cap.
Other ruler's army was sighted. Why? Wait, why is he in my... Is there... Oh, there's a bandit camp right here. No, 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 no. You don't get that. How far is he? Oh, he's kind of close. No. Yeah, how close is these guys, though? Oh, no. I even noticed the bandit camp there. That was very bad. Oh, we're losing so many. When was the last auto save? That was so bad. I was too eager there. Why are they not firing? Fire! I retreat, retreat, retreat. One second, chat. Here we go. Get there before they do. Let these guys fight it out. But that guy's just cheering. That was the rupture sound effect from Dota 2. Point two K influence. All right, eight eight hundred more. We just need to farm bandit camps right here. We're good. I think entertainment is still a big issue here. Yeah, but it's okay. We have the harvest is coming very soon. The harvest is coming, chat. How much uh, barley we're gonna get? Five barley. I mean, we can start trading things. Like, look how much resources we have. We have food. 
Uh, are we getting eggs here even? Is the bartering even working? We're getting eggs, yeah, so it's working. We're trading berries for eggs. Are the berries regrowing though? No. How about the wild animals? Yeah, that's coming back. Right now we just need some more influence. And we can fight a big battle. I was gonna buy mercs, if you're wondering. I'm not gonna just use my militias. I was gonna buy mercs. Uh, I don't know where exactly you get the mercs from. I think here, maybe? Yeah, higher mercenaries. Oh, there's only one mercenary available, and it's in Hofstein. Well, that's not good. And it's just all archers. Um, what? Oh, it's because the AI is buying all the mercs. Well, that's not good, chat. We can stop making small shields for now. We need bows. Fletcher is the one that makes the bows, right, chat? Yeah. We can start trading, too, here. We can get a family of traders here. Horse is pretty expensive. But that will make our trades better. We do need to establish trade routes. How long? Have I, two hours? Ah, uh, today was a short stream, guys. I really want to stream for like four hours today at least, but it's okay. Um, I'm still getting accustomed to my new house and stuff like that. Because I just literally moved yesterday. And we'll have our first big pitch battle tomorrow. No, I'm going to make the time for it. Because I really want to do the big pitch battle. We're going to have our first big pitched battle tomorrow in this game. We're going to fight tomorrow, chat. We fight for the province of Goldhof. Gonna be a bloody battle. Gonna be a very bloody battle. We'll do that tomorrow before Empire to Rome. Okay, guys? Take care. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!